I'm Sarah Arnold. And I'm Daniel Nova. And our company is Fourth Quarter Fitness, and it is um, a virtual reality fitness gym that incorporates gaming technology to um, increase the effectiveness of some uh, and make more exciting someone's workout. And it offers new ways to train for athletics as well. And so the problem, 30% of Americans are currently overweight and, or obese, and this statistic is, um, is extremely increasing each year. Um, even though more gyms are being created the traditional way, which include treadmills, etc. And but clearly that's not making doing anything to lower the statistics. So we want to offer a new way for these types of people. So we don't offer treadmills, swear masters, or um, personal draining or Nordic tricks. We offer completely new technology to um, for these types of people to work out and hopefully entertain them more and increase their like want to work out more often. Um, um, okay, so our location is Brookline, Massachusetts, and it is one of the suburbs right outside of Boston. And um, its median income for a family is $120,000, so it's very strong for it, um, our target market because it's going to, um, the high income people are going to be the ones that are com coming towards our gym. And um, so for our market size, we got 17,500 people for the people that we wish to who want to change their workout style as well as the people who do not already work out. And our goal is to get 5% of that in the, in the first two years to join, become members of our gym. And that's a picture of the um, area of Brookline. So the demand for fourth quarter fitness is extremely high in the Boston area because in the winter months it's extremely cold. People who work out outdoors don't have a place to work out in the winter. Average temperature, 32 to 34 degrees, that's the high in January and February. But in the summer months, you might be asking, well, what's the demand there? Um, people who do work out in the summer months might be upset about current workout situations. Um, you know, Gold's Gym, they have thousands, like hundreds of equipment in each gym. It's very overwhelming. People who want something new, people who want a new gaming um, exercise, um, workout, people who want a virtual reality workout, people who want to work on their skills indoors using an outdoor environment, uh, which our machines offer, this is what we provide. Um, currently there are three or four gyms like ours out in the West Coast in California. Those are called San Francisco Bay Club and Club One to name a few. We want to bring this idea to the East Coast. Currently we don't know any gym like ours that provides virtual reality equipment and gaming technologies. Um, Motion Fitness is our supplier and manufacturer. They will manufacture all but one of our uh, machinery. Um, the one that they don't is the Nintendo Wii, which we will get at um, Target or Walmart. Uh, they are located right outside of Chicago, Illinois, and we will get all of our um, extra gaming, as they call, equipment from them. Um, so we're going to now talk about some of our equipment that we're going to be using. These are going to be our warm-up activities. The Wii, Nintendo Wii in the bottom right, and the DDR in the top left. Nintendo Wii has something called Wii Fitness, where you can play tennis or golf, and that really has been shown statistically to increase one's heart rate. Um, the DDR is another thing that increases one's heart rate um, by showing the activities on the screen they have to dance to. Okay, and the one at the top left corner is called the Cybex Tracer, and it's where you strap in and you actually become the moves of a certain game. So you can play things like football, or they also have like dancing, virtual seminars, and things like that, that you can become the person actually doing the activity. And the one on the bottom right is called the tread wall, and it's basically a rock climbing wall that moves, so it's more effective. And then the top one on this slide is the cat eye fitness bike, which actually puts you, like you're biking through hills, and you watch it on the little screen right in front of it. And then the one at the bottom is called the moto sports arena, and you, the three poles surrounding you light up, and you have to do things that it commands you to do as the thing goes around. And then we also have the pro batter and the pro swing, which are athletic training devices for anybody who is who are, who are wanting to work on their batting swing or golfing swing. And we also plan on having professional golfers and baseball players who come and assist these people, and that is an extra charge for our company. So um, the baseball pros, we will charge 125, and golf pros 150, and each machine is there virtually to assess the um, ability of that current person as well as work on it to make it better. Um, yeah, so this is like um, the pro swing, which is the golfing one. Um, and these rates are hourly rates where we bring in the pros to our um, areas. 
And then these are our three competitor gyms around Brookline, Beacon Hill Athletic Club, Coolidge Corner, and Benna Fitness, which is solely for women. And our price is $110 per month, which is sufficiently higher than these three gyms. However, we do offer a new experience, therefore that is why um, we figure that our pricing is more effective than these. And we do require yearly memberships. That comes out to $1,320 per member. Um, this is one the top floor layout of our gym. Um, it's going to be a huge open space with all of the machinery and equipment um, that's for the general uh, membership to use. Um, it's a, they can move from one uh, machine to another um, with the Makoto Sports Arenas in the middle. Um, the bottom floor is going to be our um, sporting equipment, the Pro Batter and the Pro Swing. Um, these are for also for the general membership population. They can use them on their own, but these are, um, we will also offer the sports pros um, at the additional cost if they wish to use them um, at certain hours of the week. Um, we believe that having them at the bottom floor um, will create a private um, space for their instruction. Um, financials are quite simple for our um, gym. The equipment is four hundred thousand. Our rent each year is two hundred ten thousand. Wages three hundred thousand. Startup expenses one hundred fifty. Um, with the uh, money from the owners from the Sarah, we're looking for investors and bank loans, which will total seven hundred seventy thousand um, dollars. Year two's costs are quite lower because we're not purchasing the equipment again. Um, the cost of maintaining them will be in our expense costs. Um, so using 480 members at the end of the first year and 875 members as our target at the end of our second year, we hope to break even by the end of our year two, gaining $1.7 million in revenue. So we are fourth quarter fitness, and instead of spending only 15 minutes on um, the cardio, 15 minutes on weights, and an hour talking yourself into it, we hope that you will come and ex be excited to use our gym um, and be involved in the new virtual reality and gaming technology and accept our company.